Well, we were the first to bring you the recent news of Churchill Downs filing to build the Queen of Terre Haute Casino on the city's east side. Yeah, the casino is going to be the company's first here in Indiana, but many people already know the name Churchill Downs, all thanks to the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, Nicole Kersine traveled to Louisville late last month to the heart of Churchill Downs. She joins us now with more on her behind-the-scenes experience. Yeah, Mike and Dana, as you mentioned, Churchill Downs all began with the Kentucky Derby 150 years ago. During our exclusive tour, our team learned how the success of that facility and the company's already established casinos across the country will translate to Terre Haute. Take a look. We remain extremely excited about this project. It won't be long before Churchill Downs begins construction on the Queen of Terre Haute Casino, most likely on the city's east side. To learn more about the company, we traveled down to Louisville and the heart of Churchill Downs. Although the Queen of Terre Haute won't be equestrian focused, executives with Churchill Downs say every property the company owns harkens back to here, where it all began with the Kentucky Derby. What we know we can bring to Terre Haute that we've brought to the Kentucky Derby is that sense of keeping our finger on the pulse, keeping our guests happy, and really listening to them and evolving and, and creating experiences that grow with them and grow with the time. What we really hope to do is to create that Kentucky Derby-like bucket list experience in Terre Haute, Indiana. Churchill executives spent time in Terre Haute to learn what aspects of the city's culture should be included in the project. As we looked at dif different imagery around town, you'll start to see that pop up in the artwork around the property. You'll see it in the hotel rooms, you'll see it in the lobbies and some of the pathways around. We knew we wanted to have the state of Indiana reflected in the logo, you know, some of the imagery, the queen, the crown, and so the logo just kept evolving over time and then at Crossroads Sports Bar, you know, we talked about Highway 40 and 41 and that's the Crossroads of America, so we thought, okay, I have to use that. And for the steakhouse, we weren't sure what to call it, but as they did more research, turns out in the late 1800s, there was a racetrack there called the Four Cornered Racetrack. And there was a world champion horse that set a world record there. I say, well, okay, I've got to use that. The casino layout, which is similar to the Derby City Gaming Facility we toured in Louisville, is designed with guests in mind. If you walk our floor, you'll you'll feel that we we take a lot of pride and we we take our time in laying out the floor in a way that's appealing to our guests. I will say. Uh, we're sitting at our center bar here. I know that there's going to be a similar concept to Terre Haute. That's something that's worked well for, for us, and uh, that's why we continue to replicate it. We don't do traditional rows and rows of slot machines. The traditional slot bank is six to eight games long, and they just put them in row after row after row. What we typically do is take people on a journey with a meandering pathway through the floor plan. Food options at the casino will be carefully chosen by the Churchill team. And what we'll start to do is focus on what's available locally in terms of food and what's, where's the gap and where can we fill the gap. We know what typically our, our casino guests like, but I want to tailor it to what Terre Haute wants and what Terre Haute needs. And the property's hotel will offer many options for local and out-of-town guests. So we have many levels of rooms where people can progress to. If you come in with a standard room, then maybe you go to a junior suite, and then a corner suite, and then a super suite, and then with any luck you end up in the presidential. Churchill execs say collaboration with Terre Haute leaders was essential through the planning process. And we talked a lot with about the folks with the convention center. We want to supplement what they're doing. We don't want to compete with them. So our room is going to be limited to 500 seats. And that collaboration won't end once the Queen of Terre Haute is in operation. So from the beginning of this project, that's been one of the things that we've been most excited about is an opportunity to support uh, Vigo County Terre Haute nonprofits and to support the Vigo County Community Plan for 2025. We as a company that's going to come in can tangibly support that plan and support it uh, with real money, with, with you know three, four million dollars a year that we think this property is going to contribute to local nonprofits to supporting that local community development plan. We're building this for the folks in the Terre Haute region. This isn't a Churchill Downs monument we're putting in there. This is this is going to be part of the local, the fabric of the community. And there's no word yet on a groundbreaking date for the Queen of Terre Haute. We'll continue to follow all the latest in the casino project process.